Hello everyone, Omar32 here. Uh, today I've got a new unboxing for you. This is the Corsair H100i liquid cooler by Corsair. This is one of this is the highest tier of their Hydro series coolers, which feature a dual 120 millimeter rad, and this features the new Corsair Link uh, software, which comes bundled with the uh, cooler. As you can see. It works for Intel and AMD, as you can see over here. It is a extreme performance liquid cooler. And let's get to the side. So first off, we've got the dimensions. We'll let you look at these. Pause the video if you want to look at these. These are the fan dimensions and the radiator dimensions. Let's look at the back. Okay, so looking at the back, we've got a performance graph over here, which features the performance of the Intel 3770K at 4.6 gigahertz at 100% load with an ambient temperature of 25 degrees. They comp they are comparing it, comparing the H100i, as you can see over here. They are comparing the H100i with the Intel Box cooler, which is, t to be fair. It's not a fair comparison, because the Intel Box Cooler is a air cooler, it's stock, it's very low performance, and it doesn't feature any, uh, let's say, extreme uh, features in terms of cooling. And on the other graph over here, they are featuring noise at 100% load, so they are telling you that the H100i features less noise features less noise, uh, less of a noise level versus the H100 as you can see this one features 39 decibels and this is 37.68 decibels over here they feature the compatibility with the sockets it, 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 it is compatible with LG 1155, 1366, 2011 uh, being compatible with 1155 means it, it is compatible with 1150 and the 1156 because they all feature the same socket and it, it is compatible with AMD, AM2, AM3, FM1. It is compatible also with processors like Intel Celeron, Pentium, Core i3, i5, i7, Sandy Bridge, IV Bridge, and probably Haswell as well. Because by the time this video is uploaded, Haswell has been already released. So basically, this cooler supports all your sockets, all your processors. Let's look over here. We've got the contents. Uh, but we'll look at these in a minute when we open the box. Let's look at the bottom side of the box as well. This one features features some features, let's say. Uh, and as you can see over here, we'll let you read those on your own. Pause the video and read them on your own. Over here, we've got the branding for Corsair Link and the five-year Corsair warranty. Now let's open the box. Okay, so when you're opening a box like this one, try to to not put your cutter in deep. Just make a small, just a small grazing. And then you can just open it with your hands like this to prevent any damage to the box or the contents inside. So let's just... Remove the plastic wrapping <clears throat> off of the box itself. Let's just okay. So the plastic wrapping is off. Oops. Okay. So let's open the box. Where is it? Okay. It opens from this side, as you can see. So first off, we've got the quick start guide, as you can see over here, of the H100i. We've got the Corsair Solutions Guide, which is a brochure for their other for their other products, as you can see over here. Let's put this on the side and warranty against defects. Okay, this is a notification for Australian for Australian consumers.
after we remove the foam. Uh, regardless, let's look at these. We got here a bunch of screws, jumpers, some rivets. We'll get to these in a minute. Here we have the magnetized uh, brackets for the cooler itself. We've got the brackets. This is the A and D bracket, as you can see. These are magnetized, which uh, which is a very big, 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 big upper compared to the old H series uh, coolers, which featured uh, a built-in uh, bracket for Intel. They used to bring them for Intel and you have to remove them by yourself and install your AMD version uh, bracket. But for me, I'm an Intel user so it doesn't matter to me but having uh, such a feature is, a benef is beneficial as well. For AMD, you don't need a backplate but for Intel, you do need a backplate. So here it is, the backplate, the backplate for Intel coolers sorry for Intel processors and sockets and this is the magnetized Intel bracket let's put these on the side over here we have the I presume the Corsair Link USB cable I think yeah this is the Corsair Link uh, cable this side plugs into your uh, H100i and this side plugs into your to a USB header. I'm waiting it for for it to focus. Just give me a sec. It's gonna focus. Here it is. Okay. Good. Uh, this side plugs into your uh, Corsair H100i, and this part uh, is installed on a USB header on your mother on your motherboard. This is a splitter which is compatible with the H100i. You, ins you can install two 4-pin uh, fans over here and they feature two of these so you can plug in a total of four fans for a push and pull uh, setup. Over here we've got two fans. These are a like a downgraded version of the SP120 uh, uh, fans from Corsair. Uh, but these are downgraded versions in terms of uh, features, but they are, uh, but they feature higher RPMs than the ASP, than the SP120 uh, Performance Edition even. So they would blow the uh, the SP120 series by far. But these uh, are very very high sounding fans. Okay, so now for the uh, cooler itself. Let me just get it out of the plastic wrapping. Here it is. So as you can see, it's a two one hundred and twenty millimeter radiator, which is a two forty millimeter radiator. And as you can see, it has a really high fan density, uh, fin density, as you can see. The uh, on this uh, series of coolers, they are featuring their new tubing. As you can see, this this uh, tubing is very very durable. You can twist it. You can do whatever you want. It just handles it with ease. Uh, this plastic cover was on here, but now it's off. So this is the pre-applied uh, thermal paste over the copper plated. Uh, IHS. So on the side of this is the pump. This this pump lights up with colors where you set up on the Corsair Link software. Over here we've got the connector for the USB which I've showed you before which I've shown you before. And over here we've got the I'm sorry. We've got the connectors for the fans over here you can control both the both fans connected to this one via the Corsair link software this cable which is directly into the pump features something that is uh, that has been requested by users 
which is a SATA connector instead of the Molex connector that was with the H100. So as you can see, the, Mol the SATA connector is now featured in the H100i, and this is the power connector for the pump. So let's recap what we've done overall. So here's everything <coughs> combined. So as you can see, these are the, co <coughs> the components in the box. So let's just move all these to the side for one for just a minute to let, let you see the type of screws that come with the H100i. So I just have to be careful not to lose any of these. So I'm just doing it very slowly. Okay, so we have how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of these small screws, as you can see, here it is. Okay, it's not focusing, just let's just skip it. Uh, we got four of these thumb screws, which are there to uh, secure your back plate. We've got eight of these long screws, I think. Yeah, eight of these long screws to secure your fans, and we've got four of these, I think. No, we've got one, two, three, four. Or we've, got, uh, we've got four of these dual uh, sided screws, four long dual sided screws, and four short. These feature, they are, these are for a different socket than these ones, but I'm pretty sh I'm not sure which, which is which. So I'm not gonna be go so I'm not gonna go guessing. This is these are the screws for the AMD uh, socket, which go on like this. We put these like this and like this. And these are eight jumpers for your fans. So these are all the components. I'm sorry, these are all the contents that came in the box of the each 100 i Thanks for watching everyone. I'm sorry this video was too long than I expected. Thanks for watching everyone. This was Omar32. Subscribe for more videos, unboxings, tutorials, and guides. Peace.